under this uh, tutorial we'll be dealing on logarithm involving simultaneous equation okay now at this point um this is this should be the fifth teaching under the topic logarithm okay the first we've treated the definition we treated on logs of logarithm we treated of uh, uh, problems that involves multiple laws we treated on logarithm involving qu um, quadratic equation now is logarithm involving simultaneous equation so here we have a question which says given that log 9 base x minus log x log 2 base y equals to 1 and log 9 base s plus log square uh, log 2 base y equals to 3 find the values of x and y now in this case we find that uh, the first of all how would you how would we know that this is going to lead us to, to simultaneous equation is there are two variables two unknown here that is s and y okay and another thing is that there are two equations involved since there are two equations involved and the value for s here is expected to be the value of s here and the value of y here is supposed to be the value of y here that means we are going to solve this in simultaneously okay in order to get uh, the real values for these uh, unknowns unknown variables now we now have uh, we are meant to find the values of s and y now solution looking at this this is just a simple linear equation this is the first time this is the second time and uh, this is the constant value first time second time constant value okay now um, another thing we should know is that it's not having this square so it's just like linear equation this is s y and number equal to number of course linear equation is an equation such in such of a we say s plus y equals to a number that's a constant a that's that a now is representing a number okay now looking at this this is already um genuine in that form so we now have um to time this one our equation one and then this is our equation two now how do we what else are we gonna do are we to add or to subtract that's the next question we should ask of course looking at this you will find out that if it if your target is to eliminate x here you have to subtract because when we have plus this is having plus this is having plus that positive positive okay that means if you want to remove positive and positive you have to put minus but our target i'm looking at removing uh, eliminating y so since it's having a minus and plus i use a uh, positive since the signs are different i use positive so that minus plus plus will because still become plus minus plus will contaminate its, uh, itself now equals to one and the three okay now so, since i'm doing going with plus now this has been terminated one plus three is equal to four and then um, log x this one uh, log nine base s plus log nine base s will give me two log nine base s that is let's assume that this is equals to orange an orange plus an orange will give me two oranges okay now now having this as as in this form of a let's say um normal logarithm from definition we have to look for this s now and then for us to look for this s this log is having uh, two as the coefficients we have to remove this coefficient here remove the coefficient this coefficient comes out as power okay you can you, you must have to be grounded in other tutorial uh, on this logarithm before you be able to fly along with this one now we have uh, uh, nine these two is now becoming the, two, the power for this nine equal to four and of course the nine is power to give us 81 so we have s uh, s is uh, to base s that it's one to base s equal to four now of course following the normal procedure we have to convert this into indices which is this base take this number as power equated to this 81 so we now have at this point we cannot make the base the same we still refer to indices that's exponential equation we cannot make the base the same here since we cannot make the base the same we have to make the power the same because there's no way we can have base of s from this 81 now making the power the same we have we look we ask ourselves what number can we raise to power four times to give us a uh, 81 that's three three is power four will give us 81 that's three times four is three times three nine nine times three three times three times three is nine nine times three is 27 the seven times three is 81 that's 3 square 4 will give us 81 now at this point we now have um since the base at uh, uh, the power are the same now we cannot cancel out the powers and equate the base so we have s equal to 3. now now that we've gotten the value for 3 for s we now substitute it into any of this equation since we are using elimination method any any equation you choose will be okay unlike the when you're using the substitution method so at this point we have um equation we use if we choose equation one now wherever we have s we now substitute to three okay every other thing is still normal we now have this three since this is three we look for a way to remove this and uh, solve this one out looking at this we have nine here 
nine, just still recall that logarithm of a number two is not base equals to one. So we can have three to the power two here, which is going to give us, um, uh, this is three to the power two, still give us nine. And then factoring out the two, we have a uh, logarithm of a number to its own base is not certain. So of course, you know that logarithm of a number to its own base equals to one. So we have two times one now. Now, minor, everything here is still normal. There's nothing we can work on this at this point. So uh, the next thing we should deal with here is two, uh, two times one will give me, will give me uh, of course, will give me two. Okay will give me two and then I have minus log two base y. Now this two, of course I want this y, this log to be on the other part of the equation. So we have minus log is still on uh, that's this other part. Now two times one is two, but that two crossing the equation becomes minus two. Of course one is already here, two crossing becomes minus two. So this one is still on the other, on the left hand side of the equation, this equation, left hand side. Okay, one didn't cross, it's still maintain the same, but two crossing becomes minus two. Now we have minus, uh, uh, of course, 1 minus 2 is equal to minus 1. So now that we've gotten this as a normal uh, platform, we have to remove this minus from here. Okay? Now, removing this minus from here, we have to multiply everything, everything here by minus. Minus times minus will give me plus, and minus times minus will give me plus. Now, from here, I have to follow the uh, convert this into indices. Whenever you have logarithm of a number to a variable or to an unknown equal to 1, it will equal to a constant or a number. We have to f just change to just like we did uh, at this point change it to indices form so y we take this number as power equated to this number of uh, log which is 2 so y is power 1 is y equals to 2 okay in other words s equals to 3 y is equals to 2 now the next thing we should deal with here is question number 2 which is find the values of x and the y in the following now we have log s minus y plus 2 log y equals to 2 log 3 now this is equation 1 we said log x plus log y equals to log 6, which is equation 2. Now, solution. Having this as equation 1 and equation 2, at this point, we look for a way to um, remove one of them. Now, for all, we are still trying to use elimination method. Now, using the elimination method, we find that this particular, for us to eliminate, any, uh, for us to eliminate s here, this, this s is having something with it. Okay, that means it, can, it will not be easy for us to eliminate the s. But for the y, y is the y here are standing alone. So you can easily eliminate the, the y. But here, the coefficient is not the, are not the same. We have two here. We have just one here. Okay, now we look for a way to make sure that the coefficients are the same. So how can we make the coefficient to be the same? We can make the coefficient the same by multiplying everything here by two. Once we do multiply everything here by two, this one will automatically have two. Now we now say equation two uh, times two. That is two times everything here. Two times log s is equal to two log s. 2 times log y is equal to 2 log y, and 2 times log 6 is equal to 2 log 6. Now, this is, we, cannot, we now call this one equation 3. In this case, we now solve with 1 and 3. Now, considering this 1 and 3, we ask ourselves, what are we going to add or subtract? Now, you still consider what we are trying to eliminate. We are trying to eliminate the log y. So, at this point, we say, this, is, this one is having plus, and this other one is having plus. So, since the signs are the same, we have to use what? Minus. So, we now say equation 3 minus equation 2. This is the equation 3 and this is equation 2. We just put a minus. Of course, this one cannot um, like eliminate. Now I have two, uh, 2 log y minus 2 log y will go off. Now at this point we have, looking at this, the values here are not the same so we cannot just um, apply the minus here. In other words, what we just do is carry everything there along. We have minus uh, 2 log y, 2 log s instead, uh, minus log x minus y, okay, which is what we have here equal to we have this one has been terminated now I have two log six uh, minus two log three now that we have log multiple logs on both sides we look for a way to make sure that we have single single log and uh, one time on both sides so we can cancel the log just like we did in other videos um the uh, uh, the one involving quadratic equation where we treated the made, uh, made justice to that now at this point we have uh where we did justice to that now at this point we have um this particular, we look for a way to make everything here to have just the common log log. So for us to make sure that they have, this one having log, this one having two, this one is having two, this one is having two. Although majority have two, but this one that's have just one, should, uh, it will not be easy for us to make it two. But it will be easy for us to remove these two from here. Now, remember your power law. These two coming out becomes power of S. These two coming out becomes power of six. These two coming out becomes power of three. Okay? 
All right. So the, the all the equations of the log now term, comes out to become powers. All right. At this point, we now have log, 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 log. Now that we have log, log, we have to factor out the common logs. Factoring that log, we have x squared. Instead of minus, it will now be what? Times. Now we have x over x minus 1. Equals to, we still factor that log on this other side. We have c squared. Instead of minus, we have division 3 to the power 2. Okay, if it's a plus, we use times. But since it's minus, we are using division. Now we now we have log log on both sides and single single times. We have to divide through by log. Now dividing everything here by log, log will cancel out. We now have the only the values um, left. Of course, six to the power two will give will give me thirty six, and three to the power two will give me nine. Now carrying everything here, I know, uh, at this point I know that nine can cancel itself to give me one, and nine into thirty six will give me four. So what I have here is x squared over x minus 1 equals to 4, which is what I have on this other part. Okay, I still carry the written along. All right, it's still not a big deal. Okay, um, I think I should have done that here. But I think I carried the written number along, which I still end up in having 4, which is what I thought of. But carrying the written along, 9 times this will give me um, this, and then this times this will give me 36 multiply everything here. Now 36 times what, uh, times is equal to 36 s. And 36 times 1 is equal to 36. Of course, x times square, x squared times 9 is equal to 9x squared. Now, dividing both sides by all through by that same 9. Uh, I would prefer you to cancel at this point to give, we have 4. So that 4 multiply everything here, and you will still get the same thing that, want, that you want. Okay? In, every, in whichever way, we are still following along. All right. And now, at this point, we have x, uh, when 9 divide this will give me uh, only x squared left, which is what I would have had here. And then, when 9 divided this will give me 4x. When my 9 divided by 36 again to give me minus 4. Now, at this point, we have um, x. Um, um, I have to look at this. This is leading me to quadratic equation. So, having seen this, I'm going from, from simultaneous equation into quadratic equation now. Now, we now have x. We have to carry. We have x squared. We have x. We have a constant. That means it's going to lead me to quadratic equation. I have to carry everything over to the other side and equate to zero so that it will be standard quadratic equation. Now that it's called standard quadratic equation, we now have um, a, 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 this coefficient of um, s squared here is a, and coefficient of um, s is minus 4, that which is b, and this constant value is my c value, which is 4. I have minus 6, sorry, minus b, this is my formula for quadratic equation, and I have that minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Of course, my a is what to... Um, my my b here is equal to minus four. I have minus already, so b coming with minus four. I have to put use bracket to separate them. So this already existing minus will multiply this other minus to give me plus, and I have plus or minus square root of minus four square. Minus minus this square is affecting both the minus. So minus times minus will give me plus, and four times four. Four times four will give me sixteen. That four square is sixteen. Now minus times plus every plus here will give me minus. 4 times 4 give me 16. 2 times 1 is equal to 2. S equals to 4 plus or minus square root of 16 minus 16 equal to 0. All over 2. So 4 plus or minus square root of 0 is equal to 0. All over 2. Now I have S equals to 4 plus 0. I have, since I have nothing more to work on both sides, I have to work on plus or minus separately. So plus will come over here, minus will come over there. So I have 4 plus 0 equal to over 2. Now the other side, 4 minus 0 over 2. Now I have S equals to 4 over 2. Of course, 4 plus 0 is equal to 4. Then, here is also equal to 4. Now, we have 4 over 2. So, 4 over 2 is equal to 2. 4 over 2 is equal to 2. In other words, s is equal to 2 or 2. That means s is just 2. Now, we now say substituting 2 for s in equation 2. Since we use elimination method, we can use any of the equations that we had in this uh, equation, uh, which we have already originally. This is our, we have the, this is our equation 2. So, I'm taking this equation 2 um, to be my the one I'm working with. Okay, I think uh, what we have here is 2 log x plus 2 log y. Where do we have it? 2 log s plus 2 log... That, is, that should be equation 3. Okay? Alright. That means I substitute into equation 3. Now I have 2 log s plus 2 log y equal to 2 log 6. And I have... Wherever I have s, I'll put substitute to... I will substitute with 2. And I have 2 log 2 plus 2 log y equals to 2 log 6. Now, at this point, I have to look, since all of them are having 2 log, 2 log, 2 log, they come, the 2 log is common. I have to factor out the 2 log on this side. So I have 2 log, factoring, factor that I have 
2. Because of plus, we now have times. This, this log here is having y. Okay, that means we now have 2 times y. Because of plus, we have times. Equal to 2 log 6. Now, now we have 2 log and 2 log. We have to divide both sides by 2 log. Divide everything here by 2 log. We now have 2 log will cancel 2 log and 2 log will cancel the other, the 2 log we are dividing with. Okay, so we have 2 times y is equal to 2y equals to this 6 here, which is left. Now, we now have to divide both sides by the quotient of y, which is which is 2. Dividing this place by 2, 2 will cancel 2. Only y will be left alone. 6 over 2 will still be 3. So we have x is equal to uh, 2, whereas y is equal to 3. Okay.